Have you ever noticed big stone monoliths in your village or town? Have you ever paused to think what might be the significance of these stones? These stone monoliths are found in various shapes and sizes with different meanings in all Naga tribes. The stone culture of the Nagas is something we share with a lot of people groups all over the world. This is known as megalithic culture. The term megalith is derived from the Greek words megas, which means great, and lithos, which means stones. So megaliths refer to monuments or structures that are built with one or more large stones. There are over hundreds and thousands of megaliths scattered all over Nagland, and each of them have a story to tell. We will discuss some of the main reasons why they exist in Naga culture. First, they tell us about the origin of some Naga tribes according to myths. In the Sangtam village of Chungli Yimti, stones mark the place where different sections of Pom and Sangtam emerged from the earth. The stones, also called the Longtrok stones, individually identified as female and male, are said to stand for those first ancestors. In the historical village of Kejakeno lies a huge flat stone called Tso Tawo which tells a common migration story. The Angamis, Chakasangs, Lotas, Sumis and Rengmas are believed to have lived together before they dispersed from the village. Megaliths also commemorate important occasions that took place such as the history of the establishment of a village and also head-hunting raids. For this, let us listen to Taujing Konyak of Chi village. So, Maru Manu Jamakurabra, Tau Tong. It will have a name to Nagas. First, the Bosti Yat Yatru Kibo, what in the Karakura to it to Lambawala. It will have a Bosti, it will have a branch of Bostibra, Jamakura, Aru, it will have a Bostibra, Maram, Tosmun Mara. Stone monoliths are often seen as a way of immortalizing an individual's legacy based on cultural values and traditions. The most evident are the memorials erected in honor of a giver of a feast of merit. Here, social memory is also inscribed in stones which are dragged and set up to mark the celebration of riches on earth.
Megaliths were also a way of keeping our legends and other stories alive. The Owl village of Longcombe has one such story. Owl Manong Uts Ayura Sangu Uts the Jontiva Edibanuts in a Sangbana Owl in Chagata Jung Ah Chano The Namung was Hilva Uzi Longcombe Nima Long Lang Banoa Aruadena Munga Sensa Tanamumba the Tso Tao stone of Kejakeno village was said to be a magical stone. Here, Meze Ngota, an elder of the village, explains why. Legend says that one pitch dark night, the people of Konoma village heard thunderous shouts of rallying cry and victory yell as if a big ceremony was happening in the deep forest. The people woke up to this weird looking stone and believed that the spirits had planted it. Today, the stone is called Terhotsiase, meaning stone erected by the spirits. The megalithic culture is not only confined to the past, but continue to be an integral part of the present Naga society. Commemorative stones are still erected to mark any big event. It may be a milestone of a local church, a historical place or other events considered important. Stone pulling ceremonies are carried out during such events. It is an elaborate ritualistic event traditionally performed by the men folk. A large slab of stone is quarried from the local hillside or jungle and pulled to a specific location in the town or village. These stone monoliths are made in the hope that they carry a particular message into the future. They also serve as physical representation of the stories which were passed down the generations through oral history. By now, you must have understood how stone monuments representing the megalithic culture are at the center of Naga life, both in the past and the present.
Most of them are erected in prominent locations or entrances of villages or towns. Since stones last over long periods of time, they remain as an evidence and reminder of things that happened in the past. These stone monuments are keepers of our stories and traditions. By providing a window into the past, they help us to learn of a history that has gone unwritten and undocumented. Our megalithic culture needs to be preserved and continued as it represents our cultural heritage and is a part of our Naga identity over the ages.